this poem is called Honest Speech, and it's by Aaron Schick. And I just watched the YouTube video of her doing it, um, and I really encourage you all to go watch it. I'll try to do it justice right now, but she's really, really pow powerful. The barn owl communicates with mates and offspring using a complex system of hissing, screeching, squawking, and facial muscle manipulation. Survival is dependent on creating a voice so unique it can be recognized by loved ones in an instant. I argue the cause of my stutter is not neurologic it's got to be something deeper something desperate to be remembered my mouth spit shines syllables till they sparkle till my voice is the only one like it this is not a speech impediment my voice is an instrument my stutter its greatest symphony my speech composed by god I buy three grapefruits and I stutter. I study so sociology and I stutter. I like Sadsiki and I stutter. The staccato of repetition is an unpredictable percussion. The struggle for every syllable, a reminder I have not always had this voice, this stage, a gift of spotlights. It seems there is a new kind of privilege here in being understood the first time in breath, calm and measured, stripping speech of nuance, in passing as fluent to spare someone else embarrassment. For too long, I have been afraid of my own name, the word invented only to describe me. I have let it sit heavy in my throat, a tool of betrayal. I introduce myself and I stutter. I am a poet and I stutter. I call my parents and I stutter. I love you and I stutter. I love myself and I stutter. The stutter is the most honest part of me. It is the only thing that never lies. It is how I know I still have a voice. I am still being heard. I am still here when I stutter. I am speaking my own language fluently. When I sound like this, I know my loved ones can find me. This is what I sound like when I speak for myself. This is what I sound like. This is what I sound like. 